In a very significant development, the Ministry of Defence has given in principle approval to four projects to the Indian industry for design and development under Make One category, that includes airborne electro-optical pod with ground-based system, airborne standoff jammer, communication equipment for the Indian Air Force, and the light tank program of the Indian Army. This will result in faster completion of these projects. As under the Make One category, 90% of the total funding is done by the Indian government. While talking on Tejas Mark II AMCA and TED BF aircraft programs at the Center for Air Power Studies, the Director General of Aeronautical Development Agency has said that the upcoming Tejas Mark II will incorporate a lot of advanced features, like unified internal electronic warfare suite. Digital Flight Control Computer Mark II with Enhanced Capability, Jet Fuel Starter with In-Flight Relight Capability, Missile Approach Warning System, Enhanced UTAM Radar, Onboard Oxygen Generating System, Infrared Search and Track Sensor, and more interestingly, the cockpit has been changed completely, and it will now feature a side stick configuration to enable large area display and advanced head-up display. He also said that another important change is the removal of nose probe and addition of multifunction air data probes that will significantly improve the radar performance. He also said that critical design review of the AMCA Mark I will be completed by the second half of 2022. The AMCA in stealth configuration can carry 1,500 kg of payload and in non-stealth configuration it can carry 5,000 kg more payload externally. He also stated that the TED-BF program is currently in preliminary design review phase, and while it is a slow bar variant, the Aeronautical Development Agency is looking at new changes to make it a Cato bar variant. The Indian Navy has selected a vendor for the procurement of high-capacity lithium-ion battery system, and has given a go-ahead for the development of compact lithium-ion battery pack, that will first replace older lead-acid batteries on a Kilo-class submarine for user trials purposes, and if found satisfactory, it will be later adapted on the other Kilo-class submarines and six Calvary-class submarines of the Indian Navy. Lithium-ion batteries are lighter than lead-acid batteries, and it also generates less heat and doesn't require regular maintenance, due to which underwater endurance of the submarines will be three times more than the existing 72-hour endurance provided by the lead-acid batteries. Under the India-US Defense Technology and Trade Initiative, the U.S. Air Force's research laboratory and India's private sector firm New Space Research and Technologies have started joint development of air-launched unmanned aerial vehicle. As per latest reports, the two sides collaborated on a wind tunnel testing at the Vertical Wind Tunnel Facility at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in U.S. Details of the project have not been shared yet. But officials have said that these air-launched unmanned aerial vehicles will act as force multipliers for combat aircraft on mission. The Vice Chief of Indian Air Force Air Marshal Sandeep Singh has said that the Air Force will not be significantly impacted by US sanctions on Russia, and India's relations with both the countries are strong. Russia has assured India that defense supplies will not be hit by the Western sanctions, and that alternative mechanisms are already in place to ensure that crucial contracts such as the S-400 air defense system are not disrupted. There could be delays in supply of spare parts from Russia for one or two months, however, the Air Force is now aggressively aiming for 100% indigenization of the spare parts and components. India's private sector firm MKU Limited has developed an advanced ballistic helmet known as Cavro ACH-115B, that comes with an integrated front-mount ballistic visor and mandible protector, that provides full-face protection to the soldier from blunt impact and high-velocity ballistic threats. It is lightweight bolt-free and anti-allergic, that features modular padded suspension system. 
five Indian companies had recently received the technology transfer from DRDO to manufacture military-grade extreme cold weather clothing system for the Indian Army, and now the Indian Army has released a tender for the supply of 61,352 units of extreme cold weather clothing system under a two-bid system, in which the L1 bidder will supply 36,811 units and the L2 bidder will supply 24,541 units, and the delivery must be completed within five months of getting the bulk production clearance. Thank <laughs> you.